Championship Showdown between the Nigerian Nightmare Kamaru Usman and Gilbert Dorino Burns. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds, but now with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion, and he believes without a shadow of a doubt that he is the best 170 in the world, and he is out to prove it right here, right now. that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? Tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. It's reducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record on. 19 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting at a Boca Raton for Lorda, presenting the challenger, Gilbert Durinho Burns. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting at a Boca Raton for Lorda. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Usman. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against, and he's not afraid to engage on the ground tonight. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the field. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All 
right early round one. We'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. What a beautiful takedown. One takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Nice stick with the right hand. A series of punches from the top here by Usman. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Under three minutes now to go in round one. And they both stand up. Look at the control of the posture as that big knee land. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Battle for position here. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. Hits the elbow there. Burns now looking for a Darsh choke. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type. Oh, and he hip tosses into the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Both fighters get up now. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Just misses with the straight right. Oh! Well, plenty of time here to go in round one. He has really gotten off to a good start tonight. He and his corner prioritized an aggressive all-offense start to this one, and that is exactly the way it's played out. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Good stick. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. DC, that could be pretty useful when it comes to the scorecards, potentially. Very useful when it comes to the scorecards, but also a testament to his conditioning and his cardio to still be throwing takedown attempts at the end of rounds instead of winning fresh. Gets right back up. I mean, what an ankle pick. If he would have drove into his opponent, maybe he would have secured the top position. DC, didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. 
All right, so we'll see how it goes here in this round. Previous round, it was all him just taking his opponent down, really every time he entered. Yeah, every time he got in on the leg, he was able to secure a finish. And that is the idea you want as a wrestler going into a fight. If you have to change up the technique, it's fine. It's not always going to be the very first attack. When it's the first attack, you're very happy. But most times, you've got to chain things together if you want to take down a great fighter. And we know how hard it is to maintain the wrestling, right? The hours required in the gym to make sure that wrestling's still at a high level. He's putting in the time. Yes, he's putting in the time. And also, you see it in his movements. When he gets to an attack, he's constantly shifting his position. He's constantly moving his opponent. He's constantly trying to give him too much information to process. Right. And that comes from a lifetime of wrestling. If he just started this, it would be very difficult to trick his opponent. But now, by giving him so many different looks, he's been able to secure takedown after takedown after takedown. Usman gets caught with that punch. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, Give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a bit massive take down the tip lane. Burns' his lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, feet on the hips here. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. strikes here off of his back by Burns. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Lands with the ground and pound. Under three minutes now to go on the round. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is... He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Oh, nice. And he's out. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Burns. Usman going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Kamoa Roos. has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, you will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. All right, rubber guard for him now, DC. We haven't seen you lean on this in the octagon. No, I, I can't get those <laughs> legs up there. Come on, man, look at these tree trunks. They don't go up around nobody's shoulders. I like to keep my feet on the ground, and I like to grind. That's what I'm known for, but this guy has that dexterity. He has it. Looks like maybe he's trying to get an arm underneath the chin. He's side to side trying to get a bulldog choke. And he's out. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but he did not react fast enough to secure the top position. And just like that, back to a standing position. We'll see who has the advantage. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. 
And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Burns gets tattooed with that hook. Beautifully timed and placed. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting taken down back to the mat again. Well, he certainly had his way with his opponent in that previous round, and with this guy, even when you know what's coming, sometimes it's still just hard to stop him. Yes, because he's always changing it up. The first time, it may be a high crotch injury. The second time, you may get single. Third time, it may be double. Ultimately, it always leads to him in the top position trying to find space for his ground and ground. Nice stick with the right hand. Burns' lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh, you don't want to be anywhere near his guillotine choke. Might have the neck here. Nicely done. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Burns has worked hard here. Now he has the back. Jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh, strong punch there by Burns. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. And this dude's cash and chips. And now he's got that tight punch. Takedown defense holds up. Hip tosses him down, now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Nice loop and punch. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Everything works off of the jab, doubles up on it there. And another. Wow, actually got the takedown. Oh! Oh, now he's in trouble. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Close guard. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Usman. Two minutes to go. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Ground and pound strike there now. Pretty significant wealth to the left side. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Nice hammer fist. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Nice hammer fist. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Burns. Sound strike on the ground.
Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. Stop, stop, stop. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear when his opponent's down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progress. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. All right, single collar tie now. And now he's got the tie clinch. And they separate. Nice take down lane. Burns looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. Oh, and he caught the kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Burns gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relatives. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. What a fantastic wrestler. Great takedown. Close guard. Well, a case of pick your poison here. If you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up upstairs. He is in some serious trouble now. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Usman. Back to the feet now. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tight clinch. That shot blocked by Burns. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Ooh, big shot to the body. A lot of power on display from Kamar Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamar Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight. Not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because Usman gets the takedown. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to... Right, so perhaps he will go for another takedown here. He does, and 
beautiful execution to get the fight to the mat. I mean, now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. And he's out. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. While he continues to stay busy. And oh! Oh, shot to the body. An elbow! He needs to start looking to finish though, because he's got his opponent with very bad. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Burns. 30 seconds now to go in the round. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Check the slick movement where he stuck the leg back in the middle. Now he's going to try to roll for a knee bar. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, big left. Connects now with the one-two. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Single collar tie now. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. And both guys really throwing with authority. That's a great punch. Does a lot of damage when you can hit him in the body that way. Usman's got a bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. And he gets it. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Back mount now. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Changes the angle, finds the right spot. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? You gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not in this fight. That was a nice play. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, Chief. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. 
who is going to take advantage of him. Well, not a great visual now. Two professional athletes <laughs> visibly exhausted like this. They have brought the best out of each other, and I guess if you're going to gas out, at least if your opponent's gas too. And wow! Come on, believable! He's done, he's done! What a fight! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. By way of the TKO, there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world, celebrating with his team. And that is a celebration, folks, that figures to continue deep into the night. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 54 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by TKO and still. So another highlight for the reel of the undisputed UFC welterweight champion defends the title successfully here tonight and does so by TKO. A lot of people thought maybe this one was going to go the distance, but the welterweight king wasn't having any of that noise. Now all that's left to do, celebrate with the corner and look ahead to the next title defense. One thing, though, is for certain.